Weekly, I deal with African American citizens who are suspicious, untrusting, apprehensive about what the police do and say. And in each of those encounters, I have to build individual trust because in some quarters of our city, African Americans are unwilling to trust the police because of their history. Regretfully, the role of law enforcement agencies throughout this nation in the thousands of lynchings that occurred between 1870 and 1960 is deeply checkered. As one that is proud to be a police professional, I believe this period was our darkest hour. As the LaGrange police chief, I sincerely regret and denounce the role our police department played in Austin's lynching, both through our action and our inaction. And for that, I'm profoundly sorry. It should never have happened. I know the women and men of the LaGrange Police Department, those here today and those that are not, condemn this lynching and join in my apology to the family. I also owe an apology to an African American community that has lived with the burning frustration of injustice that was the result of an intentionally indifferent criminal justice system. Many in the criminal justice system did not participate in lynching black Americans, but they had firsthand knowledge of it and did nothing to stop it. The tone of indifference was demonstrated in 1940 by the Troop County Grand Jury, whose only recommendation after reviewing Austin Calloway's lynching was that the LaGrange City Jail should obtain better locks for cell doors. To the members of this church and the guests that join us this evening, your support and presence communicates an optimism that can influence our fellow citizens and institutions to work together to close a dark chapter in our history. Your presence here also demonstrates a character that was not present in our city September 8, 1940. Finally, this acknowledgement and apology is a further opportunity to build trust. But it must also be accompanied by a commitment to never again tolerate a climate of injustice. May God bless each of you and bless our efforts as we go forward together.